flying out of the tub over here. Hi. Before we get into this video, I wanted to let you know that we're bringing back the Tuesday night live streams on this channel at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Now, what's important for you to know about these live streams is not that we're doing trivia, it's not that we're giving away merch, it's that we're going to be inviting one of you to join us on a live stream as well. If you want to find out how to do that, I'm talking about one of you. Somebody maybe I've never even met before. Maybe you don't agree with anything I say and you want to debate me on it. Maybe you love everything I do here and you want to have a conversation. Maybe you just want to get yourself a little better known to our audience. This stream is for you. Make sure to tune in this Tuesday and every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll see you there. Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. Welcome to the channel. If you're watching from Morph Market, well, then welcome. We are going to be showing you guys our second clutch of the season. Got some beautiful snakes in this tub right here. And uh, we're gonna take a look at them. The idea behind the doing a video like this, and we're gonna do this with every single clutch this season going forward. We're gonna have exactly which snake you're looking at. So if you're coming over from Morph Market, there's actually going to be chapter markers in the description below. So if you're looking at a specific snake by its ID number, you can click on that chapter and look at that specific snake that you're looking at. And that's just a way to show you guys in more detail and show you the little special individual details about these snakes. Um, as you're looking at them on Morph Market, or even if you look at them here on this video right now and you didn't come from Morph Market and you're just one of our lovely regular subscribers who watch all our videos, thank you very much. They're so identifiable actually that even though we have this large pile here of some snakes that look seemingly the same, you know, we got some Coral Glow and we got some uh, Wild Type. I've, I've noted all the distinct characteristics that they each have so I could actually tell all these snakes apart from Snake 1 all the way to Snake 8. Can I name this one Sunset? You want to name this one Sunset? Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually snake number, this is snake ID number 2302 because it's the second clutch of 2023. 2302-003M because he is a male, as are all of the Coral Glow animals because dad was a Coral Glow pied male maker and mom was a Coral Glow as well. Now with that pairing, we could have gotten some single gene female Coral Glows but we didn't. All five of the coral glows are males and the three wild type are female. Let's start with snake number one. And I'll have the ID numbers right here in the corner. So as you're looking at the snake, you know that you're looking at the right snake, especially if you're coming over from Morph Market and looking to purchase one of these. And we're gonna do the same thing with these as we did with the last clutch that we showed, which has worked out pretty well actually. We've already almost sold the entire clutch from last weekend. Why is the snake looking at me? The snake's looking at you because he finds you quite interesting, T. Just gonna pick it up. Okay, if it bites you, just pick it up. <laughs> so the first snake we've got here is a super coral glow, and all of these are gonna be 100% het pied. And so this one is an obvious super coral glow. If you compare it to the other regular coral glows, it's just a lot lighter and a lot more pastel in color. And funny thing though is het pied adds a lot of contrast to snakes sometimes. So this one is maybe a super coral glow as well, just a little darker and a little more contrast, but I'm gonna wait until um, several more sheds to confirm whether or not this one here, which is snake number two, is a super or not. They both have a lot of white coming up inside of their alien heads, that really cool, distinct kind of yellow around the out ridges of the alien heads, but with very distinct white. I like to think that's part of the het pied influence on a super coral glow, but really cool. And again, uh, number two, I can tell is really standing out from the rest of the coral glow here, but just a bit darker and more contrasty. So a, a couple more sheds and I'll be able to tell for sure if that's super coral glow or not. Um, but it also has the similar thing with the, uh, don't be scared, he's just cruising around checking it out. Um, just seeing if, if this snake has, uh, is the super, because he has. <laughs> don't worry, T. Okay, so all, if you're crawling up, just put your hand under and guide him gently back up onto the table and that'd be perfect. 
So we'll, we'll double check if this guy is actually super um, after a few sheds here. And I just won't list him up there on Morph Market until we're certain. And actually, there's a, a lo local kid that's looking to get a coral glow snake from us. So maybe this one will never make, make it to Morph Market in the first place. Red eyes? They're starting to run away. Yeah, they got red pupils. Why did it have to be red eyes? <laughs> I'm going to name that one Crazy. <laughs> All right. So uh, you already named this snake Sunset. Now you want to name it Crazy? Sunset. This snake that Leia has just named Sunset is snake number three. Happens to be the smallest snake, the smallest male coral glow, 100% het pied. The really distinct thing about him is that, that he is the smallest in the clutch. And he's got this kind of cool Trinitarian head stamp, just like a, a pattern of three, almost like a three leaf clover type of deal going on on his head stamp. And that's the thing that really stood out to me about this guy as far as what sets him apart from the others, other than just his size. So that there is snake number three, a beautiful, Coral Glow Ball Python, 100% head pied. Let's take a look at snake number four, which is this guy right here. Now he has kind of a, a pink head stamp. If you look on the head stamp, he's got a lighter pink happening in between the darker purple. I want to name him Pink. You're going to name him Pink? Yeah. You're going to name the snake Pink? You know, that's a good name because also inside of all of his alien heads is a lot of pink coming up inside of the alien heads, whereas the other guys had more kind of solid red and orange. This one has real light pink coming up inside of his alien heads, and that's uh, something that really sets him apart from the rest. Hey, we got escapees! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely escaping. All right, you can get back in there. Okay, snake number five. Now this is our last coral glow, obviously, and he actually has the most contrast out of all the coral glow in this clutch. It just His contrast just stands out more than the rest. And he's also got a very distinct orange V on his head. His head stamp has that V or upside down V depending on how you're looking at it. But uh, beautiful snake, most contrast of the rest of them. And that is snake number five. Do you want to call him something, T? Orange. Orange? Yeah, because look at that orange on him. Yeah, it's a lot of orange there. Definitely. Very much orange. Whoa, these snakes are just ready to jump out of this. You guys, are, look at this. Look, at, They're just flying out of the tub over here. Ready to come to a That's home near a you. <laughs> Let me guess what you're going to name all these snakes. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> How could I have possibly guessed that? Yes, I can tell all of these wild types apart very easily, actually. So our first snake here, this, this is the first female. This is snake number six. And she has no eyes in almost any of her alien heads on the side. It's got a little more of a gravelly thing happening inside the alien heads. Um, there's like maybe one, if you want to call that an eye there, but that's kind of near the top. So I wouldn't really call it that. Just a little bit of graveliness, but not really any eyes, just kind of some solid alien heads in there and her head stamp is kind of like a, a Mickey Mouse or an upside down Mickey Mouse depending on which way you look at it but it's got that little Mickey Mouse head stamp going on in there and that is snake number six Donut. female 100% hip hide okay now this is snake number seven and she has a head stamp that looks like you know those old muscle men you guys remember those little muscle man toys are from like the 80s muscle men so her head stamp looks like one of those muscle men. That's what it reminds me of doing that muscle man pose. And then she has some really uh, wonky alien heads here, especially this one here that looks like an eight. And then there's one on the top there that's all circled out and then some standard alien heads as well. And uh, it has kind of a, a purplish hue coming up the sides. I mean, I say purple, probably hard for you to tell on camera, but she, that's her, those are her distinctive characters. This is snake number seven or chocolate number two. <laughs> Chocolate number two, gross tea. And last but certainly not least, woo, this is one that looked like it was ready to take a little piece of my finger. And it's snake number eight. Let it take a little piece of your finger. You want, you want her to take a little piece of my finger? Yeah. She looks almost ready. Oh, she's thinking about it, she's thinking about it. Nope, she's gonna be cool, she's gonna be cool. And she has a, a head stamp, it kind of reminds me of a fireball from Super Mario 3, like those fireballs that jump up out of the lava pits. That's what it looks like to me. And then 
she is just has the most classic wild type ball python look I could imagine. Like this is just a classic. If there was ever a classic, classic look, this is it. Classic ball python. Um, even though she's head pied. Questions? Do snakes really seen what we're doing? <laughs> all right, T, that's all the snakes. Yeah. Should we pick on mommy and baby brothers, see how they're doing? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Here, go. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hello. We, we need an update for all the Makai fans out there, mommies. Oh, he's... Real busy right now. <laughs> no, he's doing great. He, um, I feel like we turned a corner within the past couple weeks. Uh, he was kind of fussy the first month and just like seemed sort of uncomfortable. And um, now he's a bit more chill and just seems he's pooping more. So that might have and to I, do with it. And not as farting that much. Yeah, he doesn't fart as much. We used to have to like pump his legs and. Um, He's great. He's the sweetest. Right, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll trip over your dog. Don't trip over your dog. See you on the next video. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>